Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, standing outside rental property number 16, my last residential property I bought. Had some videos of this one before, after the tenants moved out, didn't leave it in amazing shape, but it's still been a good rental. Bought it for 90 something, 91. <laughs> it's probably worth 230 or so if we fix it up. It's been rented for about 1200 bucks for quite a while. This also had bed bugs, which we found out. So after my last video, um, our heating guys came in here to check everything out and said it had bed bugs. Like, what are you talking about? And so we got it inspected and it did. So we saw cockroaches in the first video, which I'll link to in the bottom here, but we also had bed bugs. So we had a company come through, superheat the house. That kills all the bed bugs, guaranteed. Plus, it kills all the cockroaches and they should be gone as well. Now, I was worried about that because we've all heard how a cockroach can survive a nuclear war apparently they can't survive 140 or 50 degrees so keep that in mind if you need to get rid of cockroaches don't nuke them heat them up all right so we also had the house mostly trashed out i'll show you why i get annoyed at my contractors and a little perturbed too which i know it seems like a common theme in my videos but i guess there's not much more to say it is a common theme in my videos this house is old i think it's oh 1800s I forgot to look that up, but I'm pretty sure it's built in the 1800s. You can see the original floors, which are okay, but a little beat up. Um, I don't think I've ever seen those before until they pulled up the carpet stuff that was under there. Now we'll go upstairs first, and I'll show you why I'm annoyed. You can see the old plaster. I think I knocked that down in my last video because I thought it would make for a good video. So, I had an insurance claim on this property on Friday because we had the roof looked at. They said it had hail damage. We're in Colorado, have tons of hail. My insurance should cover it, which they will. He said, your door on the second story is open. I'm like, what are you talking about? This house doesn't have doors up there. So I wasn't super concerned. So I come here and yeah, pretty much, um, I think the guys who I hired to trash out the property, who we've used a lot, um, we're using this to throw stuff into the dumpster. And um, they didn't put it back, they just left it there for the entire weekend to be wide open. And we're in Colorado in the fall where it does get down to, you know, 30 degrees at night. So that's a really good way to freeze your house up and cause even more damage and maybe have another insurance claim, which, you know, it's great, the insurance usually pays out, but if you have too many claims, they'll drop you. And it makes it really hard to get more insurance if you have too many claims. So you have to be careful about what claims you file and don't file. Um, you know, it's not usually not good to file very small claims that won't net you much, much money. You got to save it for the big stuff. Now I have been looking and looking and looking. I haven't really found any signs of the bed bugs except for one spot that I'll show you. And I have seen kind of them before. I've never actually seen a real bed bug. But I think I've, I had a rental before that had them. I didn't go in there until we got that one heated up. And then I've had uh, some other houses that we've seen that I'm pretty sure were bed bugs. And I think, you guys can tell me if I'm wrong, is that like the stuff they leave behind? I think that was a smoke detector or CO detector. So I think that's kind of what they leave behind around beds and mattresses and stuff. Oh, this was the door I opened in the first video where the cockroaches were just scampering and running down it. So they, I think, are all gone. Haven't seen any sign of them. Um, this house, I plan to sell. I'm not planning to rent it again. Plan to sell it, at least for now. I may change my mind. So we'll probably redo a lot of it. Um, flooring, paint, um, lots of different things. It's old. I don't know if it comes through in the video exactly how crazy the ceiling looks, but it looks kind of crazy. They do have a little half bath in this main floor, which is nice. But like right here, like to get that door level, I'm not sure <laughs> how that happens. But I do have a surprise for you guys. I'm going to go into the murder room basement. So... We've got, you know, our stuff. I guess 
The other dumpster was full, so we got a new dumpster. That's why not everything's in there, but um, still annoying that my guys left the window wide open. Okay, here we go. It was kind of dumb of me to figure out how to work the light on my phone, because then I do stupid stuff like this. Ooh. But luckily, ooh, look at all those spider eggs. The other guys came down here already to knock most of the spider webs off. And since the house was heated to like a million degrees, all the spiders should be dead. So I might get some wonderful spider webs in my hair, but hopefully none, like no live spiders crawling around me. Ugh. This wiring does not look amazing. Galvanized pipes, those aren't amazing. This is it. I guess this is all we have down here. Ooh, we've got the old stone foundation. I know I've owned this. Oh, look at that beam. That's not good. <laughs> you can tell I haven't been in this house for four years. I don't remember that. Look at that. It's just chewed all the way through. I kind of don't want to walk over here because all the spider wet. Oh, there's my hair. Look at that. That almost looks like termites, but we don't hardly ever have termites in Colorado. Once in a while, but that... Kind of looks like it. So, I mean, stuff can be fixed. That's not amazing. But we'll have our guys check out everything. Who knows? Maybe this may stay a rental. <laughs> After looking at the house more, it might just have to stay a rental. We'll see. But when you have 120-year-old beams, I suppose that can happen. Huh. Okay. Glad I came down here. All right, so there's the murder basement for everybody. The murder room, sorry. That would make a great murder room. <sighs> See a new panel, that looks great. But that doesn't mean everything's in great shape. Well, that's the house. Always appreciate you guys watching and commenting on these. This one um, is not one I'm the most proud of, that's for sure. It definitely needs quite a bit of work. But it was super cheap when I bought it. I knew it was a really good deal. Um, and you do need affordable housing. Like, that's the trade-off. Sure, it needs work. We It was nice when we bought it. I have a video of when I first bought it and leased it out. Um, it was in decent shape. And people, you know, not everybody can afford a super nice, completely remodeled newer house. So the trade-off is with some of these older houses, they need work, um, but they're safe. They supply housing, they're in decent shape. Obviously you have to fix stuff like that. You know, some people don't have any other option. And you are helping and providing a service when you have properties that are lower in rent. I can't attract tenants who aren't the greatest. That's a trade-off too. But those are things you have to think about. Some people aren't okay with it. Most of my properties are much newer, much bigger, um, different areas. So. That's the property. We'll have more updates on it as we go along. Um, decide what to do if we want to keep it as a rental or sell it. Um, some of the things in this house are a little concerning about it staying you know, as a house and not turning into rubble, but we'll get that checked out, fix things that need to be fixed, and go on from there. All right, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. We always appreciate the thumbs up, the subscriptions, all that good stuff, and investformore.com has much more information on all my rentals, Investformore.com backslash rentals lists all 21 of them, including the new purchases from this year with videos and numbers and all that good stuff. Thanks a lot. We'll be back soon.